Hi everybody, how's everybody doing today? There goes my squeaky chair. Here's our star guest. Well, we'll have a few star guests, you'll see. But I'm voicing over. Uh, I'm not too sure if it's going to be a speed through or not. I don't actually remember. But here's Benini. She's a little terrier mix. And we're going to be making this today. A doggy and DIY collar made from a big sheet of leather that I have picked up at a flea market or a yard sale, something like that. Benini's really sweet. I'm just trying to comfort her. And there's Pixie. Pixie's a little YouTube star. <laughs> okay, so there's Benini. I'm just trying to comfort her and keep her from trying to jump down or anything like that. And there's Miko. Miko's got her own collar on. Now let's get Panini down. And for short, I call her Beans. And there's Pixie. They all love each other so very much. And they're all rescues. Um, dogs that have been running around the streets and I've had them. Benini that you see there, Beans. She's been with me for a good seven years. And that's her bed down there. And when there's Pixie, we couldn't get away without Pixie wanting to show her new collar that we'll be making in this video. And let's see if I can get Pixie to not be so scared. <laughs> Say hi, Pixie. Say hi to the whole YouTube family. That color teal looks really nice. Hello, everybody. <laughs> And I stamped in their name, or her name, Pixie, on there. And I'll explain to you my little mistake that I did. I punched a little too hard and it went straight through. But that's okay. They still worked out and keeps, you know, their location just in case they get lost where they should be returned or con the, where they can contact me at. Just in case. Never gotten lost, but knock on wood. Pray that God they never get lost or out the house. I'm usually with them 24 hours a day, anyways. Okay, let's see if we get started with this video. I can't actually see ahead, so bear with me on this one. And yeah, Pixie. Such sweet dogs. Okay, so what I've done is I've gotten a cotton string, any string you have, measured their necks, and then brought it over to my table and scored with an X-Acto knife. It didn't go all the way through, but that's perfectly fine. As you know, with my videos, if you're an old viewer, I usually just go with whatever and work with it, even if it's mess messes up or anything. So I just come in with some scissors since the X-Acto knife didn't go all the way through. So, as I say, lots and lots of things in art are fixable. And there's a little piece there, a little piece there. I'm still just going to trim that excess off. And don't worry, that little excess doesn't get lost. I use it in my art somewhere. Oh, everything gets used up. And I have my second one already cut, and then we're going to use an embossing with this Big Kick, I think it's called, Sizzix Big Kick, and we're going to emboss the leather to give it some kind of design. Now this is my first time doing this, so you're going to see my mistakes, but in the end it ends up working out just fine. And collars for dogs, especially leather ones, usually they're not too comfortable for the dogs, they're either too thick or something else. I usually like to put um, fabric as collars, but since this leather that I have here is very thin, it's actually very comfortable and the more they wear it, the more comfortable it becomes. Now, I pre-warn you, I forget the names of things all the time. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to forget what the a lot of these things are. I'm kind of trying to think about it now. I think they're rivets. I'm not even sure. But you'll see. And it embossed quite well. 
I noticed that there was a little space in between the collar where the embossing didn't go so I'm going to try to emboss the middle. It's just experimenting and I have a little embossing plate right there and I'm just placing it to the side just so that it can get something in the middle. It really didn't need it but I was just playing here in my art room. <clears throat> My voice is a little off because it's like 4 o'clock in the morning. But I've been having this video on Movie Maker needing to be voiced over for a while. So I need to get it up and out of the way so that I can move on to the next one. See, there you go. It embossed right in the middle. I don't have too many plates at all, actually. So I use what I have. And I'm just placing it to the little part of embossing that I like, and I'm just going to run it through. And run it through on the other side. And then we have the crocodile. Can't believe I remembered. And then I'm going to see which side of the crocodile fits those little ribbits, which I'm pretty sure they're not ribbits. But you get the gist of it of what it is. And making punching the little holes. And then adding the male on both of them, grabbing the female. It was kind of confusing. I eventually get it. There we go. I think. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I think. <laughs> okay, yeah. We've, we'll figure it out. Just be patient. Put punch in the other side. Okay, I think I had to go off camera and figure it out. And I and I'm pretty sure I figured it out. And then we got our little punch. It's going to give it a whack. A few whacks. A few too many whacks. <laughs> a few more whacks. <laughs> and a few more whacks. It just feels good. And then make sure that I place it the right way. Male to female, the right way punch in that hole, which I thought I did earlier, but I guess I didn't. Still confused. And we're going to give it a few whacks. Make sure that I did it right. We sure did. And having that button there, that doesn't bug the dogs at all. I thought maybe their hair would get caught in it, but it really doesn't. And now here that I'm doing the voiceover, it, they've had it on for a few months and we're good. And the leather's gotten very soft and it doesn't bug them at all. And later on in the future I'm going to share with you guys how to make a little plaque out of other materials and <clears throat> how to put your phone number and stuff in it just in case your doggy gets lost. Then again you can go to any pet place and have one made. It's nothing like handmade stuff though. And I have these letter punches that I picked up at a yard sale many years ago. And I'm spelling out I think Pixie's name first. Now I suggest you don't hit it as hard as I do. Because see that P? It ripped right through and the rest didn't. You can see my metal plate down there. You can see the P. It kind of has a hole. That's okay. It still ended up working and it's months later and she still has it on and it hasn't ripped. Pretty sure in the future it'll rip but for now we're good. And then I'm going to put Beninis but I'm not going to put her birth name. I'm going to put Beans because that's what we usually call her because she's so tiny. She weighs like four pounds. Even that B I hit a little too hard. 
that's okay. And then I have some um, paint here on the side, or some water. Yeah, some paint and water. And I'm just playing around and giving some color to the collar. I know it looks a lot messy, but once I rub it and the more they wear it, the color starts to wear off a little bit on certain parts and it looks really nice and distressed and then I figured I'm not going to use the brush anymore I'm just going to use the fingers and rubbed it I'm pretty sure you can use some rub and buff or some specialty paints for leather but I use what I have and I think it's fabric paint that I'm using and like I said and I have mentioned it's months later and they still have it on and the color is pretty bright vibrant still then I just go at it. Couldn't stop. So yes, I'm sharing the DIY to inspire you guys. Then I come in with one of my um, permanent pins and I outline Pixie. can't outline the P too much. And then I come in again and do the beans. And it is months later and the outlines are still there and they're still nice and vibrant. And I outlined the em embossing also just, just because I wanted to do some extra play as we do as mixed media artists or just artists in general or doodlers whatever just came in and played with a black marker black pin off camera I set everything with a heat gun actually not a heat gun an actual blow dryer because my heat gun throws off the fuses at the house so I haven't been able to use my heat gun hi Miko we'll go to bed right now I even added extra doodle that the embossing didn't have. And that extra doodle is still there. I'm not too sure what I'm doing here. Oh, I'm adding their little plaque. And we're all done. Snaps in place perfectly. You could round out the ed the ends if you like. I left it as is. And there's Pixies. And Miko already had hers on. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe. Feel free to recreate this vid this tutorial. Have fun. Keep your animals safe. You can even do this for your cat, ferret, <laughs> whatever animals you guys have. And have have a have a blast. So I hope I've inspired you guys. Uh, if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and please share me on all social medias. It helps me out and brings inspiration to new people who have not yet discovered me or I have not yet discovered them either. <laughs> Leave me a comment down below, please. And if you do recreate it, I would love to see pictures. You could email me pictures. You could find me on Facebook and share your pictures with me. And I'll leave you off with our little models here uh, that you've seen earlier. I always tend to show what I show at the end at the beginning. So my end is my beginning and my beginning is my end. Well, that's the way life goes, isn't it? So yes, someday I will show you how aged they got the collars and how well they held up or how well they didn't hold up 
since I did mention it's been a few months since they've had them on and just to share with you guys what they look like now and I hope you guys enjoyed me coming on here and talking and trying to inspire you guys to do something do something it's good for the soul and I'm going to say good night good morning good afternoon and catch you guys later hope you enjoyed please do not forget to thumbs up YouTube um, looks for our thumbs up and plus there's always those little trolls that thumb down the more we thumbs up the more we throw them off <laughs> okay guys it's late I'm being a little wacky just a little hope you guys enjoyed bye bye Oh, there, there comes Bean again. Hi, Bean. <laughs> Good night, guys. <laughs>